no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Definitely not evil. Mm-mm. Nope, nope. Not at all. Mm. It's just the bodies of my deceased friends. Hello? Anybody home? There it is! The end of the green streamer! We did it! It's the end of the road! The last of the streamers! Hey, Bowser. Just hanging out? Hmm? Fucking giant pussy ass bitch. This is a really cool boss room. This is sick. Super neat. Alright, bossy, bossy, bossy. What are you? Scissors? Some stupid shit? Probably. Come on, pussy. LOOK OUT! Nice back- damn! Nice backflip, bro. The dual-bladed duelist scissors. Fucking knew it to be scissors. <laughs> well dodged. Of course I expect nothing less. Would have been terribly boring to end things so quickly, yes. Why don't you warm up a bit? I'll send out my new pet for you to play with. Oh my gosh, did those scissors make that thing out of people's faces? I can hardly even look at it. How monstrous. Yet, you must face it. Have fun. I'll be waiting if you happen to survive. What the fuck is this? Boss? Laser beam! Uh-huh. Dude, that'd be some bullshit. Okay. Oh, man. Hog! Get fucked. Easy. Mario, it's me, Kamek. This monstrosity has hijacked my magical abilities. That looks deadly. Watch out, it's charging up an extremely powerful spell. If you could just remove my face, it should significantly weaken this paper mistake. Try to dodge the attack and then peel my face off. Yes, I know it sounds ridiculous, just do it! Juke. Oh shit! Ow. Oh, I wanted that. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck! I didn't know it was gonna do two. Alright, slam. What?! I moved away! Fuck you, game. I moved away from it that time and it hurt me anyway. That's garbage. Nothing I could do there. What the fuck? How many? Three? Alright. That was kind of bullshit. I didn't deserve to get hit by that. You've done it! Now it's just an ordinary giant buzzy beetle with slightly less devastating attacks. Finish it off quickly, will you? Well, today. Alright, so I fought this thing on the pop, uh, Paper Macho Island or whatever, so I know what it does, so... This shouldn't be too bad. This honestly shouldn't be too terrible, but it was kind of a bitch to dodge, if I'm being honest. When it does this big shell shit, it has such a wide area that it's kind of hard to avoid. So... We'll just see how this goes. And it's stupid, because on the Paper Macho Island, when I got to this thing, I only had like 60 health, so it was a pretty tough fight. That was luck right there. Neat. Alright. 
Your stupid fucking pet is dead. Come down here and fight me like a real man. Pair of scissors. You fuck. Oh, forget about the scissors. I suppose any toy made out of the faces of those pathetic minions was bound to be flimsy. No matter, I trust you've warmed up. On guard. It almost sounded like a Darren Malakian guitar riff. Let's get this straight. I will annihilate you, but I don't see why we can't have some fun first. After all, where's the challenge in slicing you to strips immediately? Therefore, I shall grant you a slight advantage. See, my blades have been sheathed. We're on equal footing. However, should you damage this cover during our battle, I shall interpret such boldness as a direct challenge and I won't hold anything back. Okay. So, first things first, I want to hit that fucking on switch. And this can spin to be something else. Oh no, you know what? I know what I'm gonna do. So, around, arrow, on switch, envelope, grab hands. I don't know what grab hands are gonna do for me, if anything, but I assume they won't do anything. Danger, danger, do not break that cover in your text carefully. Okay. So is this gonna hit the cover, or is this gonna try and pull apart the scissors? I don't know. Oh, I'm breaking the cover. Okay, well, we're breaking the cover, and we're going fucking full balls out mode. I don't know if that was a good or bad thing to do, but I assume it was bad, so I chose the wrong thing to do. HA! Amateur, you've broken the safety cover. I did warn you. My blade has been unsheathed. Now it must taste ink and paper. Okay. Well, that was complete experimentation accidental, so... Shan't be needing these, and I prefer an uncluttered battlefield. I'm readying my ultimate attack. You won't stand a chance. Alright, so what the fuck am I supposed to do here? Uh... This kind of seems like dog shit. If I'm being honest, this kind of seems a little ridiculous. As long as it's not an insta-kill, I'm fine with that, but if it's an insta-kill, it can suck my balls. Can't guard against the scissors blade attack. Press A to jump at just the right moment. Oh shit, what happens if it cuts me and I'm, am I just dead? Am I just dead if it cuts me? What? Are you joking? Are you fucking kidding? Guarding is useless, this is the end for you, you flat fiends. Farewell. Hey, th that's not fair. You can't jump over it. Ooh, you cheater. Stay right there. Let me go again. Okay, because its casing is on, maybe I shouldn't go for big dick attacks. Maybe you should avoid the big dick attacks with this particular boss. I still want to hit the on switch just so I have the on switch going for me, so. But then that means I have to account for these two panels and I have to get them out of the way. So what happens if I just simply jump on it? It can't pull its blades out. So if it can't pull its blades out, I should be okay to just jump on it and be fine, right? So I'm not going to attack the cover. I'm going to attack the handles. Okay. I appear to be fine. Okay. Oh, I see! I'm dumb! 
Okay, never mind. This is fine. Never mind. This isn't stupid at all. I'm just fucking retarded. This is fine. Don't worry. I got this. I understand now. And I'm stupid that I didn't notice before. I see exactly what I did wrong. Never mind. This is totally fine. I'm not even worried about it. I'm just fucking stupid. That's it. When its blades are up in the air, you can't jump on it. You have to hammer it. When it's upside down, you can jump on it, but you can't hammer it. Otherwise, you hit the casing for the blades. All right, enough. It was fun while it lasted, but your feeble attacks have grown tiresome. Let's cut to the climax. So now it's going to take the casing off? All right. So in this second part of the fight, I got no idea what I'm doing. You shan't be needing these, and I prefer an uncluttered battlefield. Alright, now it's doing its mega attack, which will kill me instantly. So. There's gotta be a way to stop it from doing its mega attack, but I don't know what it is. See, I can't jump on it, otherwise it'll just dice me. I can't attack it, otherwise it'll just dice me, so I must have to do something to it first. But I don't know what, like, maybe freezing it? So maybe it readies up the mega attack, and then I open the box to get the panels, and then my next goal is to hit the on switch and get to the panel. And that's how I fight the boss. Maybe that's what it is. So I'm not gonna worry about attacking it this turn. Let's focus on getting the envelope. Maybe that'll tell me something I need to know. There's no point in getting that. Yeah, so th this'll be my turn. Alright, so that brings out the panels. Can't guard against the scissors blade attack. Press A to jump at just the right moment. Okay. So if I fuck this up, I'm dead. Alright, I jumped it that time. The other time, it stalled. It did a snip and then it jumped and it fucked up my timing. Like, it stalled, and then it flew at me, which fucked up my jump timing and got me killed. I don't appreciate that they did that randomly. It's kinda stupid. Alright, so let me try using the Ice value mental Power. Let's see if we can do that. So, on switch, I need... So I can move that here. Then this thing, I can move here. So... Go around, hit the on switch, hit the ice power. Fine. That'll be my turn. Let's try the ice power. Let's see if the ice power does anything. It might not, and that's okay, because this is just going to be a trial and error fight, which I really still don't agree with. That's really dumb of Nintendo to design it like that, but whatever. It is what it is. We'll get past it. We'll deal with it. Nice, that fucked it up. That froze it. 24 damage, that's cool. Okay. Frozen, can't move. So now maybe I grab it, and I slam it, and I break it? I think that's what I gotta do. Okay, so if that's the case, I need the on button here. I need the grabby panel to go on what ring? Third ring in. So one, two, three. And then we need this to go here. So that has me run around, go in, hit the on switch, hit the grabby thing. All right. When the scissors are frozen, you'll have a perfect chance to unleash a 1,000 fold arms attack. Perfect. That's exactly what my thought was. Okay. All right. So yeah, this is basically just a trial and error fight. That's all this is. Granted. Granted that I fucked it up the first time because I broke the casing, so that's fine. Maybe you're just not supposed to break the casing, which it did tell me. It did, to be fair, it did tell me not to break the casing, and I ended up doing it anyway accidentally. So I guess that's fine. So, alright. Freeze thing again. So what I have to do is I need to hit the on switch. That's fine, that's perfect. So that'll have me... No, that's not perfect. 
That's not perfect at all. That's the exact opposite of perfect. But it's fine, because I can just do this. So I run around, pick up the envelope, get the arrow, go to the on switch, freeze it, and we'll be good to go. We'll be fine. I don't gotta worry about pulling the shit out of the box again. So yeah, this is just a trial and error fight. That's all this is. If jumping out of the way is too stressful, try freezing it to stop it from moving. Yeah. Alright. So yeah, this is basically just an experimentation fight. So it's almost like they purposely designed it for people to get killed the first round. Like, it's almost like they deliberately designed it for people to get killed. Like, no matter what they do on the first round. Which is still kind of stupid design, but I'm a little bit less frustrated with it now. Over the idea of it. Like, this is way more manageable. So th this isn't a bad fight, it's it's not stupid, it's just kinda dumb the way they went about doing it. But now that I understand what they want and what they expect from you, it's a lot more reasonable. Like, th this is a lot more manageable than they make it seem at first. So, run around, go in, hit the on switch, get the handy move, throw it up in the air, it's dead. Boss fight done. GG, easy peasy. Easy boss. Never mind, this wasn't bad at all. I'm just gonna cut out the other fight I did with it, so I don't waste people's time, but... For anybody watching this, I'm gonna edit this video, so if you only see one boss fight with a pair of scissors, I died the first time. I jumped it to insta-kill like twice or three times, and then I got killed, so... What you're seeing now is a redo of that fight, and this is just me experimenting more, so I'm getting rewarded for my experimentation. How about that, had enough? That'll teach you to underestimate my friend Mario. Huh? What the fuck? Well cool, all our friends are back to life. Neat. Yeah, so I don't want to say that was a stupid boss, but I am not a fan of insta-kills in video games. That shit is fucking infuriating to me. And I just hate it when developers design shit to do that. It's just kind of dumb. You did it, Mario. I'm fully restored. I even managed to hang on to my wand. Yeah, not bad. I guess some of the things Dad says about you being tiny and stupid aren't true. I sort of says that about me? That really hurts my feelings. Although your dad is a huge bitch, so... Now all we have to do is release the green streamer. Let's take care of it the way we always do, with a big smack. Yeah, no shit. Stupid fucking scissory piece of shit. Neat. Alright. Now that I understand that boss a little bit better, I thought it was just- Oh, it can insta-kill you over and over again every turn, and you have to dodge it every time, otherwise you just die. But there's a tactical way to go about it. And to be fair, I did break the case the first time. So to be fair to it, I did break the case the first time. Whoops. Whatever. I didn't think it was going to instantly kill me if I did that. I just thought it was going to make the fight harder. Congratulations, green streamer cleared. Hell yeah. Neat. Alright. Cool. That's the evil pair of scissors done with. That's all the streamers done with. We've had a hell of a journey. Now it's time to go home and relax with a nice cup of cocoa. She's like, Peach is still enslaved by the emo king. Mario's like, Ah, oh, fine. Great job, as usual, Mario. That was the last streamer. We've done it! Thank you all so much for helping me. You know, ever since you first saved me from that wall in Peach's castle... God damn, that seems like fucking forever ago. You've just been saving me over and over again. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you, Mario. I truly couldn't have done any of this without you. I... I wouldn't have amounted to anything. Are you okay, Olivia? Yes, I'm just so happy that we can get to Peach's castle now. 
But I wonder if I'll be able to stop my brother. Could I do something that important on my own? Hey! Origami girl! You didn't think we were going to let you do that alone, did you? Don't you know how this works? Mario needs to rescue the princess. And I need to find Ollie and punch a his face for making me like this. Or at least flap aggressively at him until I can get my body back together. Yeah, I'm gonna get him for what he did to my dad, too. And for everything I've been through, like about 40 bass and getting cut into pieces. Ugh. That's the spirit. Let's show them the power of Bowser's minions in flat paper. Oh, you guys, thank you. With all of you by my side, I might actually be able to do this. Let me at him! I'm coming for you, brother. And this time it won't be so easy to drop a giant boulder on me. Oh, by the way, how are we actually going to get to Peach's castle, you guys? <laughs> Don't worry about that part. Lord Bowser has you covered. But there is one thing you'll need to do. GET ME DOWN ALREADY! That's better. Sort of. So, Mr. Bowser, what's your plan for getting to the castle? It's on top of a volcano, you see. A volcano? That sounds awesome! Volcano castle? That sounds sick! <clears throat> About the plan for reaching Peach's castle, perhaps we should have a brief chat, my lord. <laughs> no time to listen. I have just the thing for such an excursion. Mario! Origami girl, I must prepare a few things. Follow me to the supply closet. It's on the first floor. <laughs> <laughs> 